Hello, my name is Lieutenant Kimberly Glore, and I'm currently stationed at the Cruise Ship National Center of Expertise, located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and today we're going to be learning about watertight doors. We'll be going over testing of watertight doors. In today's discussion, we will talk about types of watertight doors, the location of the required control stations, regulatory guidance, provide demonstrations, and lastly, discuss the watertight door indicator panel. Types of watertight doors. Watertight doors are installed on ships to prevent the ingress of water from one compartment to another during flooding. Watertight doors are normally found below the bulkhead deck. However, some watertight doors can be found at or above the watertight envelope. Therefore, the two primary types of watertight doors you will encounter are designated as watertight and semi-watertight. Semi-watertight doors are doors that are located at or above the bulkhead deck that are able to withstand a certain amount of water pressure and can be partly submerged at intermediate stages of flooding. Despite the slight differences between watertight and semi-watertight, they are held to the same regulatory standards. There are three primary locations that the door shall be able to be operated from. They are as follows. Local operation at the door, at a location located above the bulkhead deck, and from the central operating console at the navigation bridge. As per MSC Circular 1380 titled Guidance for Watertight Doors on Passenger Ships, the assigned category and meaning of each category should be clearly marked on both sides of either the watertight door or the bulkhead adjacent to the door in order to ensure correct identification and operation. Here we are visually inspecting the watertight door to ensure the proper operating instructions and markings are present. Since this watertight door is hydraulically powered, there shall be a hydraulic accumulator of sufficient capacity to operate the watertight door at least three times. Additionally, the hydraulic system shall be provided with a low-level alarm for hydraulic fluid, serving the power-operated system, and a low gas pressure alarm or other effective means of monitoring loss of stored energy in the hydraulic accumulators. These alarms are to be audible and visual and shall be situated on the central operating console at the navigation bridge. For electrically powered doors, an independent motor for each door is required, capable of opening and closing the door. The power should be capable of being automatically supplied by the transitional source of emergency power as per SOLAS Chapter 2 TAC 1 Regulation 42.4.2. Local operation is mandated as per SOLAS Chapter 2 TAC 1, Regulation 13.7.1.4. The regulation states, each power-operated sliding watertight door shall be provided with an individual hand-operated mechanism. It shall be possible to open and close the door by hand at the door itself. Control handles shall be provided at each side of the door at a minimum height of 1.6 meters above the floor and shall be so arranged as to enable persons passing through the doorway to hold both handles in the open position without being able to set the power closing mechanism in operation accidentally. The direction of movement of the handles in opening and closing the door shall be in the direction of the door movement and shall be clearly indicated. The closure time from the time the door begins to move to the time it reaches the completely closed position shall in no case be less than 20 seconds or more than 40 seconds with the ship in the upright position. Here we are locally testing a watertight door. This specific vessel is older and utilizes hydraulic power for watertight door operation. On newer vessels, it will be more common to encounter electric powered watertight doors. It is important to note that the direction of closure of the handle is in the same direction as the closure of the door. Additionally, there is an audible and visual alarm indicating that the door is closing. It is important to note the rate of closure. If the watertight door closes faster than 20 seconds or slower than 40 seconds, the crew must adjust the watertight door accordingly to meet SOLAS regulatory requirements. Location above the bulkhead deck. 
It shall be possible to close the door from an accessible position above the bulkhead deck with an all-round crank motion or some other movement providing the same degree of safety acceptable to the administration. Direction of rotation or other movement is to be clearly indicated at all operating positions. An audible alarm shall sound whenever the door is closed remotely by power and which shall sound for at least 5 seconds but no more than 10 seconds before the door begins to move and shall continue sounding until the door is completely closed. The administration may require the audible alarm to be supplemented by an intermittent visual signal at the door. The time necessary for the complete closure of the door when operating by hand gear shall not exceed 90 seconds with the ship in the upright position. Here we are testing the same watertight door but from the operating station located above the bulkhead deck. This is a restricted area that should only be accessible to the crew. Okay, so we have the, uh, the pressure down drains and we're ready to operate from the remote emergency station. Is door clear? Okay, yeah. we're starting to close now. An officer standing by at the door and I'm going to begin pumping that and the same closing time is required here, I have to be able to close in 90 seconds. As the officer begins to operate the hydraulic hand pump, we can see that the control station is properly reflecting the status of the watertight door as per the LED indicator. The time of closure should be noted as well as the mandated audible alarm since the door is being closed from a remote location. Watertight door operation from the bridge. Watertight doors shall be provided with controls for closing the door by power from the central operating console at the navigation bridge. It shall not be possible to remotely open any door from the central operating console. The rate of closure shall be between 20 seconds and 40 seconds. As per SOLAS, Chapter 2, TAC 1, Regulation 13.8.1, the central operating console at the navigation bridge shall have a master mode switch with two modes of control, a local control mode which shall allow any door to be locally opened and locally closed after use with automatic closure, and a doors closed mode which shall automatically close any door that is open. The doors closed mode shall permit doors to be opened locally and shall automatically reclose the doors upon release of the local control mechanism. The master mode switch shall normally be in local control mode. The doors closed mode shall only be used in an emergency or for testing purposes. This is primarily for safety purposes in an effort to reduce the risk of human injury. A crew officer will now briefly explain the central operating console and master mode switch. At 12, it's uh, now red, so open. No, green, close. Forward in on place. Left it closed. Okay. Okay, might you open the door, please? So when it's blinking, that means it's in motion. Yes, that's the yeah, so that's required intermediate position. Okay. Yep, it's very simple. It's the difference between the local control and the bridge operation. With the local control, uh, when a door is open locally, it will remain open. If I flip the switch to uh, to the bridge control, then <coughs> all doors will try to close once they've been opened. Thank you. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please contact the Cruise Ship National Center of Expertise at csncoe at uscg.mil or via phone at 954-767-2140 or feel free to visit our website. Thank you for watching and have a great day.